Hello everybody, welcome to our lovely audio commentary of the movie The Running Man. Boyan Dulabik here, I'm joined by my bro. Hello. That's him. So, uh, get your copy ready if you want to follow with us. We're watching uh, the DVD version that came out, I don't know, a few years ago. And uh, that's it. So, get your copy ready and start in 3, 2, 1 and play. Alright. Got the bit of an intro. Intro, waiting. All right, here we go. Tristar. <laughs> so did this become a Sony Pictures or what? Isn't Tristar Sony? Uh, no, yeah, Tristar. yeah, it is. Um, yeah, pretty sure Tristar. Because it wasn't it Tristar Columbia, and then it just went to Columbia, and then something else. Oh, dude, I can't keep up with that crap. Now this is this is the Terminator font. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 It's like one guy just reusing his own fonts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a nice font, though. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I, not not to be a stickler about it, but I just don't like the font for the Running Man, the actual title. It's it's retro, but it's it's kind of a bad retro. It's not a retro. It was current at the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's true. All right. All right, so so I love this. So the year is 2017. Yeah. Hi, it's that's now. So the world economy has collapsed. Food resources, everything's short. Television is controlled by the state, and a sadistic game show called The Running Man is become right. the most popular program in history. By the way, did you know apparently there is The Running Man show in Japan, I guess? Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Probably. I, I, I don't know if it's... I don't think it's the same. Oh, I, I doubt there's ex-cons fighting for their <laughs> yeah. Even in Japan, that would be a bit too much. Well, their shows are nuts, man. Have you seen some of their game shows? Yes. I love this uh, 1980s computer graphics. I know. Eh? High tech. Now, what, what, what mm -hmm. I love is later on when they show this scene. Uh, by the way, look, look at the background. Look That's how poorly terrible. this is. That. <laughs> the front is okay. The front's but, fine. But the yeah. side was terrible. Well, it was out of sync. It wasn't moving. Yeah. Uh, so okay, Arnie is a. I, I guess they're they're just cops. Yeah. Regular police. Looks like regular police. Right. And uh, so they, there's there's people riding. It's a food ride. A food ride, right? And they uh, they're gonna order him to kill everybody, which is kind of extreme, even for a <laughs> yeah for a, like a, for for a full on you know fascist state. That's. It's still a little extreme considering everything's recorded, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're going to create more problems then. <laughs> well, solving. yeah. I mean, you know, we already live in a world where everything gets recorded with cell phones. So you really can't get away with much now. <laughs> Never yeah. mind committing full on, basically, genocide. <laughs> on your own populace. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Arnie has the same uh, screaming sound as wow. <laughs> No, I love this though. Okay, so later on when they show this clip, you know, when they edit it, where's the camera inside that's yeah. filming this? Because they're they're using they're using these shots of of, of the film, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, there was uh, mini GoPros everywhere. I know. Eh? And again, his last name is Richards. That is not a German <laughs> or Austrian last name. Yeah, in every movie they. Uh, they have to explain his accent somehow. Yeah, I know. Now, Richard, or Richard, that's a first name, sure. Yeah. But I, I don't know of any Germans who, whose last name is oh, well. Richard. This, uh, this gag of the exploding neck braces, they've had yeah. that in like two other movies. Yeah. And, yeah. Well, apparently there's a movie with Rutger Hauer. Rutger Hauer, is that his name? Yeah. Um, that... Basically, just it's a movie inside a prison, and they have these types of bracelets yeah, that explode. Yeah. There's like a couple of those movies. Yeah. 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 I mean, I I personally like this little touch. Mm -hmm. You know, it it explains more of the of the society, but it does it, you know it, it doesn't take up too much time. I mean, they're pretty fun fact. 
he's carrying an I beam in this scene, <laughs> and Commando he's carrying a a log. <laughs> it's just, hey Arnie, we'll need you to carry things. I can carry things. <laughs> log, I beam, <sighs> car. So I guess these are the uh, the sensors. Yeah. Now why are they why are they wearing these gas masks? Well, it's probably. Yeah, I don't know. Is they it pollution? Probably. Like, they never explained that. Yeah. So I'm guessing law and order has been basically suspended. It's all completely militarized and yeah. just, yeah. Which funny thing is, Arnold Schwarzenegger became the host of The Apprentice in 2017. <laughs> is he still? I, I think they canceled the yeah, show. Yeah, they canceled it. But, but he like... was the, the runner of it or the... He was the sure. running man. No, he was. The, <laughs> he was the. He was basically playing Killian's part. The yeah. bad guy in this. Well, the guy, the actual actor, he uh, was. He on... was uh, a game show host, yeah, right? Yeah. We didn't know it because we grew up in Europe, so we didn't see. I think he did Family Feud. Yeah, yeah. And I guess others. Yeah. But uh, I guess if you grew up in the in North America, you know, you would have been like, "Hey, it's that's the guy. That's the guy." It's kind of meta, like he was making fun of himself, basically. Yeah. Now, I love this when he looks at the, the screen with the giant buttons. And, like, look at that. Yeah, yeah. It's Oops, I saw your password. So, so basically, the only thing that prevents a complete collapse of this prison system are a few uh, numbers and letters, yeah. right? So there's no biometric, nothing. Just no. anybody who, who and, and anybody can see them. <laughs> it's yeah. like these yeah. giant screens and you can you, see the numbers. You know, usually when you put in a password, it's like hidden. You know, it's like a star star thing. Yeah. But nope, not in this high tech prison. But, but to be fair, every movie that deals with some kind of hacking, every time they punch in passwords, you can always see it. Yeah, yeah. I get it. That's done for our benefit. But, but you can't yeah. portray hacking in an interesting way. <laughs> Give you a lift. Arnie continues his uh, one-liners. Ah, uh, gotta love it. Okay, so he grabbed the giant laptop <laughs> and weighs a yeah. ton. <laughs> so, okay, so this is the part. So he punches in basically the same numbers over and over again until the computer gives up. And it's like, okay, <laughs> we're good now. Because <laughs> he's punching the same numbers in. Yeah, he is, but he oh. doesn't have a signal here. That's why they have to go outside. But the guy just had a signal two feet away wow well, hey, it's, it's like a HD antenna, <laughs> it's, a, it's a dead zone <laughs> oh it's it's all the steel that's why it's, but it's but a steel mill but hang on isn't that isn't that a bit of a security flaw if he has a problem you know getting through to the the main terminal what if there was some kind of a glitch and they have to re-enable it and the guy's like oh shit i'm in the dead signal i gotta walk you know two kilometers You're over literally there literally overthinking this <laughs> Uh. So good, it's a good action set piece. It is, yeah. I mean, it's it's it is shot. It. it is shot more like a TV uh, kind of a, a setup. You know, very in close ups. There's not a lot of establishing wow. shots. Yeah, uh, but eh, it works for me. I think it's fine. Yeah, and it's quick. They don't really do you know dwell on it too much. Now this it's guy, clear. this guy is gonna get his head blown off. Matt. Now that looks pretty sweet, man. Yeah, but that actor, he always plays the the Mexican guy. <laughs> I mean, like, is, he has like these side roles in so many movies. He was like yeah. in Jurassic Park two. Uh, was he? Yeah, yeah. He's in so many movies. I don't know. Oh shit! Is he the guy? All oh, right. When the guy gets killed, he's yeah, the one he... who tells him, "I'm about to take a yeah, piss." Yeah, but he doesn't hear it because he's listening to his right headphones. headphones. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, Man, that the... guy looks the same. Like he didn't yeah. age in ten years uh, between this and Jurassic Park. Yeah. Or I guess it wasn't ten years, but close to ten years. Close. Now, hang on. I I never understood this. It was clear. So what was the problem? No, it wasn't yet. It took I guess, it took some time for it to go through, and he was a bit has um, you know, a bit too quick. What's the signal? Dial up? I mean, really? <laughs> yeah, maybe. So now they're all free. Now, you know, just to play the devil's advocate, I'm sure some of these guards are actually criminals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> I don't true. know if we should release all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
that's a problem when you put people in jail for listening to music <laughs> like, yeah, I know. you know <laughs> next to like a murder yeah. rapist. <laughs> what did you do i killed my entire family and you uh, downloaded a few songs we're good man i'll stay in my corner yeah <laughs> Now, this mad painting, it's an obvious mad painting, but there's it something, works. I like it. There's something cool about it. Nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Very uh, Blade Runner-ish. It is, yeah. There's so a... then we cut to this underground world. Mm -hmm. So basically, everything has been taken over by governments. Right, everything has been, uh, it's basically a complete fascist state, mm. but they got one TV channel yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. that, TV. that shows the, I guess the analogy here is Rome and the Gladiator Games, yeah, yeah. right? Which was basically just a giant distraction as Rome was Falling. falling apart. Yeah, yeah. And this is based, supposed to be um, game shows, Yeah. but now it's more like reality television. Well, but it's interesting. You know, on this DVD, there, there are two documentaries, one dealing with uh, the, the sort of police state and one dealing with uh, the rise of game shows. And yeah. a lot of this, you know, obviously not to this extreme, but a lot of this we already have with this this obsession of, in our case, reality TV, which the title itself, reality TV, yeah, is yeah. just the biggest oxymoron. There's nothing yeah. real about it, right? Yeah. Is this, I can never tell. Is this actor... Wearing a uh, prosthetic makeup to make him look older. Well, I think so. Well, isn't this guy um, the actor? Isn't he from um, uh, the band? Um, uh, hang on, Fleet Fleetwood Mac. I don't know. Something like that. I'm pretty sure. Well, now, okay, so Arnie's wearing his World Gym Gold's, shirt. Gold's Gym. No, it's Gold's. I think it's Gold World. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see, but that's the gym that he went to. Well, that's that's he owns it, right? He's isn't he co-owner with that? That I'm not sure. I just know he uh, he went there. That's where he used to work out. But it's obviously some kind of an it's yeah. an advertisement. It is no, it's World's Gym. Ah, uh, World's Gym. It's like it's the most it's the biggest the most obvious product placement yeah. <laughs> ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the one thing I love about Arnie in this movie, he's basically the guy who, he actually doesn't really care too much. And no. he's, honestly, he's not even the brightest guy. You know? <laughs> no, no, it's funny. He got screwed by the system, but he had no, he has no interest of taking down the system. He yeah. just wants to get to Hawaii or wherever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. But I love this. So he's, yeah, he says, if you're not ready, if you're not ready to act, just shut up, right? But then yeah. at the end, when they're like, okay, we're gonna take it down, he's like, what? What are you doing, man? I don't want to do. You wanna do? You, you wanna use guns to take yeah. the system down? Yeah. It's yeah. like this is time to act, yeah. Arnie. <laughs> I like the guy in the background. He's got the Che Guevara look. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they even call this the the People's Network. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> usually, usually, those people's freedom fighters end up being worse than the last guy in charge. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like Arnie's uh, outfit here. He's got the uh, yellow hard hat for construction. <laughs> I get, but it's not like a typical hard hat. They made it a little different. Well, all three of them. I mean, look at look at even the other two guys. I mean, one is dressed like a pimp, and one yeah. is dressed like a hobo. I mean, yeah, I, I guess I guess the guy dressed like a hobo. At least he'll blend in. But <laughs> no, he, that was the original hipster look. Yeah, I love this when he says, "I'm not into politics. I'm into survival." See you guys at the ten year prison reunion. <laughs> <laughs> He's got some really cool lines in this hey, one. He's hitching a ride with all the Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> now this this is a real building, right? Uh, I don't know. Kind of looks. Maybe the bottom part is. No, I don't think. No, I don't think this is an extension. I think this was, or maybe still is, an actual building. But the ICS on top. Well, no, oh, sorry. No, that's that's, that's yeah, that's a uh, matte painting. Yeah. Um, but yeah. It's funny though, like, can you imagine the guy who hosts Jeopardy getting such a standing ovation in front of I know, his hey? office? Like, I mean, come on, it's still a game show. Like, you're not gonna. 
Let me see Alex Trebek. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Alex, it's you. Uh, I mean, to be fair, most of the population in the crowd is like 90 and up. Yeah, so <laughs> that is, you know, more legitimate. Although, although people did, did look younger back then. Oh, that's true. I mean, older, older. They, you know, 20 year olds, year olds look like 35 year olds. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I think they did a good job casting him. He, oh, yeah. He's got that sleazy vibe, yeah, you know? Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, I can see him being charming as well. Yeah, yeah. Now, fun fact, that dude on the right there, the big guy, yeah. that's Arnie's stunt double. No, that's Arnie's bodyguard. What? Not the really? stunt double. Yeah, yeah, he's his bodyguard. His stunt double is a different guy. I don't know if he's in this movie. Wait, you mean his bodyguard, in a sense, he actually protects him? Yeah, uh, every celebrity has a bodyguard. No, I get that, but Arnie isn't exactly Dustin Hoffman here. I mean, no, but he's famous. I mean, yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> I just love this. This guy stands out. Yeah, man. like it's hard for him to blend in you know, anywhere. Anywhere, but especially with this ridiculous outfit. <laughs> the the yellow hard head. This just gets me. <laughs> now, okay, here's the thing I love. So. This is the code, 445566, five, six, okay? Yeah. So, first of all, his brother used to live there. Yeah. Somebody else moves in and keeps the same code? Hey, it's... A it code happens. that was ridiculous to begin with? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's apartment. Yeah, it's a nice place. It's a studio apartment with a gym in the middle of it. Now, if he... Okay. So his brother, he thinks his brother is still there, right? Now, yeah. you can clearly see that a woman lives there. Yeah. You know, I'd be maybe cautious thinking, well, okay, you could think that's his girlfriend, wife. Okay, but still I'd be cautious. Now he just goes and then takes a shower, just <laughs> chills. <laughs> well, he thinks his, his brother has a, you know, a girl or wife or maybe he's transitioning. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. but, you know. but, but still, I mean, yeah. you know, th there's no photos. No, no. You know, I get it. I'm nitpicking here, but See, you know, she's she's using voice commands too. I know, eh? which, by the way, don't really work because in the real world, if you just said coffee and that triggers your coffee, um, your coffee would get triggered like five times a day yeah. just by randomly right. saying coffee. Jesse Ventura, get the freedom swiped out. He's so <laughs> <really> tough. <laughs> He makes Arnie look uh, more real. <laughs> One of the rare men who can pull off a mustache. Yeah, yeah. Captain Freedom. I wonder if that's based on Captain America. Yeah. Now, this is Consuela. What's her name again? Conchilo? She was in. <laughs> is that a real name? <laughs> no, no, a, no, no, no. Mexican I'm, I'm, name used for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, no, 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 <laughs> no. I'm, no, I'm serious. She was in. She was in Terminator. Uh, no, a Predator Two. Two. Yeah, yeah. No, she was uh, in a lot of. She stuff. was in a lot. Yeah. <laughs> look! Look at the way he's holding his other hand. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, this man is born to be a robot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Re-education. Oh. Pain or no gain. Do 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 do. Now, coincidentally, she works out in her Upper. undies, or yeah, in a what would you call garment. it? Yeah. I don't know. Who the hell works out? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't I, know. I'm just saying, she could have worn sweatpants. That would it's make more, more sense. I don't know. I couldn't. Under, I couldn't work out in my underwear. Uh, yeah. I've never tried. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> never tried. Yeah. <laughs> then we cut to the high tech four by three CRT TV. Yeah. Nobody thought, you know, in the. In the future, we might have... <laughs> the hate boat yeah, in the background. Some... Love it. <laughs> Nobody thought in the future, maybe we'll have thinner panel screens. <laughs> like, no, no, it's not going to. It's going to be a possibility. Well, I, know, I mean, I get it from a practical point. You know, if you want to show something like that, well, how do you actually build it in the real world, right? I guess. 
So it's easier just to buy an actual CRT TV. So I get yeah. that. But yeah, if you are showing this world, you know, they did it in Back to the Future too. Remember they had LCD TVs? I can't remember. Yeah, when they're in uh, 2015. Oh. <laughs> when, when they fly to the past, you yeah, know, 2015. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. I like that that actor in the background. He was in a scary movie. The guy on the left there. <laughs> he always plays these like Weasley characters. Oh, I know, I know. Was he in scary movie? Yeah, yeah. He's the sheriff. Oh shit! Yeah. He's like yeah. Well, he always plays yeah, yeah those yeah. creepy sleazy. Uh, he was in Ghostbusters too. Yeah, yeah. It's like, what do you think of her? She seems guarded but willing. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Uh, Arnie running in this scene that they're showing it actually looks. Pretty normal, <laughs> like pretty good. Yeah. Usually his running is terrible. Well, the slow mo helps. Yeah. Yeah. Again, for a guy who's a bodybuilder, who's <laughs> like, okay, why is she strapped up like that? This is know. very. I think she's wearing pantyhose, though. I don't know, man. I think she is. I mean, I like it. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. So she's got some black market stuff. <laughs> Like, like cassettes from the yeah. 80s. <laughs> Again, the 2017 will still use cassettes. But hang on, hang on. This was in the 80s. CDs existed at the time. I guess, yeah. But yeah, they, they did. So they couldn't but just... But they thought it was a fad. It was going to go away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, this is the most ridiculous part. Okay, so money's no good without a travel pass, which is basically like an ID. Yeah. So I get that. But so the ID doesn't have your photo? No, but he's going to use her ID with her. Right. That's the plan, right? So it's. I, I get it. But again, her ID doesn't have a photo. So this year is kind of like it's a precursor to the Internet. He's using her ID to book uh, a flight to. Yeah. To, uh, he's Hawaii. basically on Expedia. Or, yeah. You know, yeah. But it's pretty. I mean, it's pretty. Uh, what do you call it? Like advanced, right? It is. However, he just booked the flight by. Pushing the same keys three times. It's a one-click shopping <laughs> thing on Amazon. It's the same thing. I mean, okay. Since we've already established the fact that everything is voice activated, why not just say, I want to book a flight to such and such? Oh, yeah. That would have been easier than going through this ridiculous graphics. But maybe it has to be her voice. Well, she can just you know, gently ask her. <laughs> hold, hold her neck like he does. <laughs> Love his shirt here. It's a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> I know. I mean, it's again. It's so obvious. He's holding her, the way he's holding her. She clearly doesn't want to be with him. Anybody yeah. can see that. He's not holding her neck <laughs> like like a prisoner. I mean, <laughs> he's just a very affectionate fellow. <laughs> yeah. Now it's clear in this world, nine eleven never happened because. Yeah. Uh, to be able to do this and just say, oh, my wife's, uh, you know, ID is in her yeah. bag and just go through it. Yeah. You can't even bring water on your airplane anymore. Yeah, yeah. It's funny. There's always that annoying woman who's got a New York accent. Yeah. <laughs> hey, come on. I'm going to play in the catch. Hey. Hey. Got to meet the Broadway show. Come on. Me and my cannoli over here. This, hey. this is the best line in the whole movie. I'm warning you, I get sick. Air sick, car sick. I'm gonna throw up all over you. And he he says, "Go ahead, it won't show on this shirt." <laughs> <laughs> this is the best line. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why she fought him. Like she, you know, she could have just gone with him to Hawaii. Nice little vacation. Well, I mean, you know, I get that she's afraid. I mean, you could do anything to her. Ooh, so ooh, punch yeah. in the balls, right in the ding dongs. And the chase continues. Ben Richards. It's probably the same airport as uh, Commando. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's running on the same runway. Well, it could be. Well, it might not even be an airport. I mean, they're not really showing. Yeah, that's true. They never showed an airplane. Yeah, there's no airplane. This is one of those airports without an airplane on it. You know, I was just going to say, Arnie does a lot of running in this movie. And then I realized the movie's called Running Man. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Uh, 
poor guy can't catch a break. I know. Love the music. Mm. Wonder where they shot this. The building? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't bother doing any research. <laughs> <on it. laughs> Seemed like too much work. Nah. So remember you know what I keep saying about the 80s? The bad guy always has to smoke. Yeah, yeah. Except for John McClane. He smokes. He smokes, yeah. He's... Yeah. I could be wrong, but I think he's the only exception in 80s movies. Well, Arnie smokes in his movies, too. Yeah, but cigars are different. They're like upper-class yeah, smoke, true. so good guys can smoke those. Mm. The Snake Plissken... Yeah, Snake Plissken smokes, so... Well, he's the anti-hero, so... Yeah. yeah. Gotta love how sleazy this guy is. <laughs> I love <to> fuck you. <laughs> it's pretty good. Like this guy is not an actor, right? He was hosting game shows, and mm -hmm. they're like, "Hey, you want to play kind of a version of yourself?" <laughs> he, did a, he did a great job. Yeah, considering he's not an actor, right? So, well, but no, no, he he did do acting, didn't he? I don't know. I don't know. I don't no, know if he was anything else. I'm pretty sure, because I mean, they're, they're, you know, there's actors who end up doing. Game show yeah. hosts, uh, game shows. I love the picture in picture over there. Yeah. And what's the point of that? Why, <laughs> why are you showing me again? This is you. Look at yourself. Looking at yourself. Now look at the camera. I look back. I am at naked. Me. <laughs> I'm on a horse. <laughs> Look at that intense stare on Arnie's. Just, just. Ooh, so this is the. the uh, uh, I don't know. Montage. Prep? I mean, what are they doing here? I, I mean, they're I making, never understood that. <laughs> they give, they're giving him all his vaccines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has to go on his trip. Barium IV. Oh, tracer barium. It's for tracing him. Oh, I, okay. So they're putting something in him to trace him. Wouldn't it be easier to just. Give him a bracelet or something. <laughs> oh. This looks very painful. And then this part, ah, yeah. oh, this with the needle. Ah, oh, man, this. What did it do? Oh, did they eject the needle? Oh, fuck. Ah, ugh. Oh. I mean, I'm not, you know, I can watch when I, you know, when I, the doctor takes my blood or something, I can watch that. But this scene just, ugh. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. It seems a little unnecessary. Yeah. Everybody smokes. Well, that's what I'm saying, Doctors right? in, uh, in lab coats. Put them down. I don't even... I, I never said, why is he fighting here? It's like... Yeah, you know it's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. Just just sit down and sleep. Yeah. You know they're not going to kill you. Yeah, <laughs> so. Just lie on the ground and yeah. go to bed. So this is, yeah, this is the same. No, it's not the same building. That's, That's where her she building. lives. Yeah, her apartment building. Although, it wouldn't surprise me if that is the same building. Because yeah, it looks like it could be. So she writes jingles for uh, for the TV network. Yeah, ICS. Because that's, that's the only network available. <laughs> Yay. See, I don't understand this part here. So they're framing him for murders at the... Um, at the airport. Yeah. But why? We didn't see anybody get killed. Like, who are these people that got shot or killed? Well, I know. It, it doesn't make sense because he's already, you know, he's already he was already framed for murdering all those people at the beginning, right? Yeah. So they just arrested him for that. There was no need for this, except they did that because now she knows that you yeah. know, they're full of shit. Unless if maybe the police officer shot some civilians by accident. We didn't see that scene, maybe. Uh, maybe, yeah. I like this climbing for dollars. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> it's a great <laughs> show. <laughs> well, this guy as well, the guy who plays the lawyer, yeah, he's so also one of those... Sleazy guys. Always plays similar parts. Yeah. It's time. 
it's funny. They're they're gonna get him to uh, sign the papers right now, like literally two seconds before he's about to go on the yeah, show. Yeah, they couldn't do it like yesterday. Yeah, you you've had him there for what a month. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, in many ways, this movie, not in the literal sense, but was ahead of its time. Yeah. I mean, this obsession with celebrities, obsession with, uh, you know, in our case, reality TV shows and that kind of stuff. It's it's there, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. yeah. It's very interesting. Nothing like uh, synchronized dancing to get you going? Yep. Yep. And the hair, so it is. So basically... This is a combination of reality TV with wrestling and game show. Yeah, yeah. Basically, those three things combined. Although now, now you'd say it's kind of UFC ish. Yeah. Well, at least UFC is real. I mean, they're beating the crap out yeah. of each other. Oh, so is this? <laughs> well, actually, yeah, that's real. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. This is more real. <laughs> Would you want to see a reboot, remake, prequel? Of sequel of this yeah yeah that would yeah? work yeah i think it's enough time passed and they could i don't know who would be in it though that's always the biggest problem when you deal with arnie movies and don't please know. don't put arnie in it <laughs> no. no although if arnie was the bad guy that'd be that could be interesting uh, okay wait. yeah killian's part yeah. he's the host no yeah. or or maybe the old guy at the beginning though with the prosthetic makeup i mean he's not the bad guy but type of character like that mm-hmm yeah okay yeah we'll see I always think uh, what's his name Statham let's just put Statham in it just, just put him in everything yeah yeah I don't know I mean Hollywood is running out of 80s movies to remake so I'm sure they'll yeah they'll be hitting this one up pretty soon well, this is based on a, what's his name, a Stephen King book. Is it? Yeah, Stephen King book. The book's quite oh. different. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Okay, so we got Coke, the real Coke, and we got Cadre Coke next to it. I don't get that. Or Cadre Cola. What's yeah. How? Cadre Cola. Well, I guess it's like Pepsi. <laughs> I mean, I always thought that it's just you know they couldn't get Coke, so they made up their own. But Coke is clearly a sponsor. <laughs> So why not just call it Coke? Yeah. Oh, unless Coke didn't want to be identified with a fascist regime. But right next to the Kadri Cola is Cola. <laughs> is the regular Cola. But no, that's what I mean. So they were okay with just sort of having I don't know. a small product placement part. I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> yeah. I'll kill you and then rape you. It's like, what are you thinking, lady? <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't seem to be uh, against it. Yeah. <laughs> she's sucking she's, on that cigarette. <laughs> I mean, she's picturing it. I don't know which part she's yeah. picturing, the rape or the murder. <laughs> it's like... Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. The show's about to start. Now, the guy doing the voiceover, is he not the guy who did Optimus Prime? I don't remember. Could be. I, I want to say yes, but again, no research went into this. <laughs> and we are proud of that, just so you know. It's time. It's showtime. Nice. Man, this couldn't be more 80s. I like how people are so excited to see uh, Homicide on TV. I know. Yeah, that's... Well, I mean... That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but I don't know. They always portray the future where it's either utopian or dystopian. Oh, I know. And there's no in between. There's no like, you know, things are gradually getting better. It's just like it's the worst. Well, I guess the best. I guess one of the movies that is in between would be um, Minority Report. Right. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. It's a normal society. There's surveillance everywhere, but hell, we're there already. Yeah. So... Yeah, but it's true. It's either one extreme or the other. 
I do love this part when he when he uh, <laughs> signs it and just jams it into his back. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, to be fair, what did you expect? Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't just tell him, hey, use the door over there yeah, to yeah. sign it. No, use my back. Didn't he have like a booklet with him too? <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is funny. <laughs> I like how the bodyguard is not even mad at him. It's just like, oh, let him do it. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, this part is straight out of, uh, you know, Wheel of Fortune or these yeah, types yeah. of shows. So they definitely nailed that part. Yeah, I mean. yeah. They probably just got the same uh, people who go watch his real show. <laughs> probably, yeah. And shut that in between. Because, yeah, there's no one there who's under 60. No, they're all older. I mean, a few maybe, but, yeah, it's mostly older. So, yeah, so here we go. Okay, so we got this shot. Who shot this? I don't know. Then we've got the same insert as in the movie. And then we cut to the inside. Again, <laughs> who shot this? <laughs> this is, okay, they did the exact same thing in uh, Star Trek Four when they're showing Star Trek Two. Uh -huh. uh, right before they they blow up the ship, yeah, and they cut instead of cutting uh, to the um, you know to the in interior of the of the bridge, mm -hmm. which okay there would be cameras sure, and they do cut to some of them, but then they cut to the outside, <laughs> yeah. and you see the spaceship getting blown up, <laughs> and I'm like, who shot this? Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> this makes no sense. There's just GoPros littered everywhere. Yeah, exactly. And then all these insert shots of people dying. I guess you they could have gotten those. Yeah. Even though this looks like stock footage. It's from a different movie. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck Norris shows yeah. up all of a sudden. Invasion USA. <laughs> I like the outfits too. The unitard. Or I know. Hey? It's for like uh, skiers. That's something that they would have to update for, uh, for the remake. I would. I can see no, but I can see if they did a remake and they would show like the original um, costumes and yeah. they would show those ones yeah. from this movie and then they'd have like an updated version for like the remake. Honestly, the only thing I would do is maybe give them pockets so they can put stuff in there. Yeah. You know, if it's if it serves the purpose of the story. Yeah. But no, actually, I I'd leave it. Have a few touches of, of the 80s. Yeah. I like the breakaway closing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, actually... It's well, Adidas. Holy crap. I was, I was literally going to say what they should do is have a bunch of sponsors on yeah. them because that's that would make sense. And then, But who would want to sponsor like stuff like this? Well, I'm but, amazed but, that they got Adidas to be in this as well. Oh, yeah. Well, in the context of the this world, it would make sense, right? But I see in the context of the uh, the real world. Yeah, yeah, that's a movie. But yeah, price and Haddad. Now these images or the, the this this video here, obviously they shot randomly. Yeah, because as we find out later on, these the, guys all dead. are dead. So they shot that and then they killed them, I guess. Or they just they digitally put their face on other people's uh, bodies. Right. Yeah, they did establish the fact they can do that. Now the thing though is okay. So these those three guys they obviously won, right? Uh, oh, won yeah. the game and they they we are led to believe they are living in in freedom. Oh, I, yeah. Um, but in order to win. I guess they killed some of the stalkers, or maybe they just escaped. They didn't kill them, but they're able to. Yeah, I guess know, outrun them. Yeah, because I mean, as we later find find out, I think Killian says no stalker was ever killed. This is the first. Yeah, yeah. So they probably just outrun them. Yeah, that would have been a boring ass show to watch. You know, if you're into murder and all that. Yeah. I'm just saying. Now, these poor guys, that looks really uncomfortable, yeah. hanging like that. How long were they hang, hanging like that? I know, eh? This guy looks like he's constipated. Yeah. <laughs> Get me out of here. Okay, so, so this is the archive where they keep all the raw footage. 
And there's no security. There's no not because this I would argue is the most important room. Yeah. Because you know if you want to expose what they're doing, this is where everything's kept. You think you just put a guard in front of the? Yeah, people? yeah, something. You know, at least a camera. No. And the question is, why? Why would they even keep the raw footage? That's just evidence. <laughs> yeah. Well, they can use the raw footage to manipulate it. I don't know. Yeah, I guess even further. Start running. I wonder if you can buy that outfit somewhere for Halloween. Those running. Oh, I'm outfits. sure somewhere, dude. It's not a complicated outfit. I'll be back. Only Again. Reruns. I love his comeback line, but again, force line. What, the only in a rerun? No, yeah, I like that line. I like his combat line. Yeah, but you don't like I'll be back? Well, again, it seems forced. No, it's it's done. It it's done out of, you know, we know why, because of Terminator. Yeah, but it works. It only works when he doesn't pause to say it. You know, because yeah. in the Terminator, he just says it naturally. Yeah, yeah. Right, even in the second one, you know, it's yeah, yeah. forced. So if he had said, Killian, I'll be back, you know, just... I think it would have worked better. But I think this movie has bigger problems than yeah. that. <laughs> it seems like a really inefficient way to get people to where they need to go. I know. <laughs> like, why not just like drive them there? Well, and, and this, this uh, when I, it looks like it's turning, right? It's yeah, taking like, a sharp turn. It's yeah. like, where are they going? It's going through the core of the earth. Yeah, I mean, how long are these tubes? And by the way, this this right here, this yeah. would have killed him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, it's not like there's any airbags or any padding on this thing. <laughs> and where is this? So they never explain this uh, playground. Is this part of the city or is it an enclosed zone? Like, Because at some point the rebels joined them. So. Yeah, well, I, I always assumed that that is either a prison. It's like, you know, escape from New York. Yeah. It's a sealed off area that's just a prison. Um, or it's an area that's been, it's not a prison, but it has been sealed off from the, and cut off from the rest of society. Yeah, yeah. Where, you know, if you disagree with society, you go there. Mm. Or you're forced to go there. Yeah. I don't know. Huh. Then there's these guys with S&M uh, f fetish out gear. Yeah, yeah. Like, just here to help you out, buddy. All of a sudden, Bennett shows up from Commando. <laughs> Come here, buddy. I'll help you, Matrix. I'll tell you, Matrix. <laughs> By the way, if you want to see or listen to our commentary for Commando, it's on this channel. Just yeah, enjoy it. It's, it's an amazing movie again. Yeah. And by the way, we do love all these movies. Yeah, all oh, these are amazing. <laughs> I, I, know, I know we make fun of them, but that's the point because we love them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, this, this guy on his actual show, Family Feud, he was a bit of a groper. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> he really loved to grope women. That's very unusual for Hollywood. Yeah. Very. Yeah. He was ahead of his time. <laughs> I never understood this. They're throwing money at the guy, but they're not giving him anything back. Yeah, there's Is no it? tickets or anything. Yeah, How do they keep track of yeah. it? Yeah. I know. <laughs> it's, oh, it's based on an honor system. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, I, I, I was voting uh, on, on this guy and I, I should win $5,000. Thank you. Sub-Zero. So this is before Mortal Kombat, so I guess Mortal Kombat well, took the name from... Mm, is it? Yeah, Mortal Kombat, the first one was in early 90s. Uh, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Maybe late 80s, but this is... a. Uh, pretty sure this is before. Wasn't, no, Mortal Kombat was available on the NES, wasn't it? That would have been late 80s. Mm, we'll have to look it up. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to do research. It's more fun to speculate and yeah. make up shit. Why is that woman wearing a, like a full on geisha? Outfit? Yeah. I was just thinking that. Like, <laughs> this makes no sense. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody else is like kind of Western dressed. And yeah. <laughs> takes place in the US. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, you see, this is sort of, I guess, the tunnel leading. Yeah, because these are still members. Yeah, 
uh, so so basically they just shot them into the basement <laughs> <laughs> it's it's probably just the back entrance yeah. of the building <laughs> Uh, this is all just in the back alley. Yeah, it really is. You gotta love this. Yeah. So hang on, so hang on. This is the locker room, but there's there's people chatting and there's women. Like, what, what kind of locker room is this? <laughs> there's guys know. taking a shower. There's yeah. people partying. <laughs> yeah. Now they're in the post-apocalyptic world. Yeah. I mean, it's a cool concept, man. There's oh, no yeah. doubt about it, right? So they're right now. They're just hurling them towards um, where they need to go. Yeah. First blood, first stalker. Oh. It's amazing. They do put a lot of thought into these movies. <laughs> they make them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the budget on this movie was, but well, I mean, looks looks like a good budget. I'm sure compared to today's budgets, you know, it's hardly the catering budget of uh, any movie today. Yeah. Well, there's no visual effects on this movie either. Like just a couple of matte paintings. Well, I mean, there's practical effects, yeah. dude. <laughs> so a, he's skating, it's right? A, it's a Japanese hockey skater, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, but sure. hang on. They have, do they have hockey in Japan? I mean, I'm sure there's some places, but it's not like a popular sport. No, yeah, I get that. Yeah. Yeah. It'd make more sense if it was a samurai. Yeah. Oh, he's like a, he's a samurai on skates. Wow. Look at oh. <laughs> Again, the, the geisha chick is yeah, I know. I never noticed her before. Well, I mean, again, you have to think about the time, right? Um, Japanese culture was pretty huge in the 80s. Yeah. In, in the U.S., so it would make sense throwing a few elements. I guess. You know, they did the same thing with, you know, Back to the Future when he goes to the future, right? Uh, Japanese fashion has a big influence on that future, oh, right? Okay. So, yeah, that makes sense. It's got exploding hockey pucks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, that's cool. I like that. Yeah. Although, <laughs> Look at well, guy. why doesn't it explode when he hits it the first time? How do you control <laughs> when it explodes? Well, mo maybe it only explodes on the second impact. Oh. Right? So... Don't fuck it up. <laughs> oh, wait, he throws it on the ground. Well, maybe the third. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, ah, okay, sure. Imagine it's he's got it in his in his pocket and it's just rattling, hitting a few times, and it just <laughs> blows himself cool. up. That seems like a really dangerous design. <laughs> oh, now he's gonna off him. I mean, it it is a little over the top how much people are enjoying yeah. basically the murder and i get it they're supposed to be criminals but still yeah damn i mean it's this, this pretty pretty brutal man yeah lots of blood too so this is the first stalker that ever dies yeah yeah right dies pretty quickly too yeah i love arnie's comeback line now about plane zero yeah yeah which is technically that's better that's better yeah because yeah. sub-zero is below it's, plane yeah. zero yeah. <laughs> oh okay now plane zero <laughs> i guess because he's lying down yeah. it's plane yeah, i yeah, you yeah. know he's planking <laughs> he's the original planker <laughs> No, just imagine how much money those guys lost right now. Who? The ones who were betting? Oh, yeah. Because I'm sure everyone was betting on, on the Sub-Zero, right? Yeah, yeah. So those guys made a fortune. Yeah. 
if, if it was me, I'd be like, okay, we're done for the evening. Yeah. <laughs> so who's next? I think next is the guy under uh, with the ba Basso. I think that's his name. So this whole, oh, game, oh, right, yeah, this yeah. whole game takes place uh, in a three-hour span. Uh, I guess, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a long game, but I mean, you know, if, if they do it, I'm pretty sure they don't do it every week. Maybe, well, maybe once a week. Yeah. <laughs> I love the Gillings Island reference. Yeah, da, 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 whatever. <laughs> <laughs> one with the boat. <laughs> uh, now I, I do like this scene. It, 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 you know, the guy is obviously a wuss, can't make up his mind. But then Killian, I think that's the scene. Killian makes it seem. Yeah, he makes it seem like he made a decision by telling him. Yeah, which. I don't know if this was planned or not, but that kind of seems to me, you know, it's a nice uh, um, analogy for the people in that society who are basically being told what to do by this fascist regime, right? I think you're way overthinking. Well, I'm just, I'm just saying, just, right? I think he's just a weirdo. <laughs> he can make up his mind, so, you know, just, just, just easy there. Easy there. I, I, I'm just yeah, analyzing it in the context with history and our future <laughs> and humanity. This guy, look at his eyes. What the fuck is going on? Why is his eyes like that? He's what got he's hell? got tiny eyes compared to the rest of his body. Oh, it's the pupils that are tiny. Yeah. Well, yeah. And for a guy who's supposed to be, you know, tough and and you know, this this big guy who's intimidating, he's got he's got a pretty big beer belly. I'm just saying. Yeah. And uh neck uh, fat. Yeah. Chin fat. Hey, he's, he's, he's rocking a little bit of a job at a hut. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. This is the most ridiculous Dynamo. one. You got an opera singer, an overweight opera singer with the with Christmas lights on him. <laughs> yeah, dressed like a Christmas tree. Yeah, and who, who who shoots lightning bulbs out of his hand? Yeah, basically. Okay, not even Marvel could come up with this shit. I mean, come on. Dynamo, dynamo. And what's up with the opera singing? It's a shtick. Everybody needs a shtick. <laughs> <laughs> so now the, the girls kind of come out. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. So they took like a month to train uh, those guys, right? Well, uh, is it Arnie? a month? Is it a month? Oh, let's say it's a week. Right, yeah. And they did her in what, two hours? Yeah, no, hour? that's true, yeah. Well, I love it. I love the charges, though. So hang on, hang on. We get the charges for Arnie and the two buddies, but her charges, she slept with more than two men in one year. She went the, against traditional morality. I know, but it's... Yeah. I, I think they could have at least made up something. Yeah. You know. It's funny. It's like the camera relates pointing to the zone, not up. Who gives a damn? <laughs> That's what I mean. Arnie Arnie's just like, Arnie is completely clueless. The, the dude has no plan, nothing, doesn't care about anything. No, no. A, he's, and he's, if it wasn't for up to everyone else around him, yeah. he probably would never get out. But get it's out more there. realistic. He he's just in it for himself and he's you know, he's still a good guy in helping these uh these two guys, right? Yeah. Who are re the real rebels, the freedom fighters. Yeah. Yeah. And I love the announcer guy. I think that's the real guy. Probably. Um, you know, the one who was in the trailers and who, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, does all the voices. I mean, I, I love the the manipulation of, of media, right, mm. that's being showed here, which, you know, we're right there, man. Yeah. We're, we're there. Whatever mm. spectrum on the... Uh, this is, sorry, this is another great line. Yeah. The net uh, uplink to the satellites up there. Yeah. Crack the code. Jam, jam the, the network. network. Jam the network. That's right. Jam it up your ass. 
<laughs> oh man. We got to move. Let's go. Jam <laughs> oh. <laughs> it up your ass. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, like I was saying, I I do love the portrayal of just how everything gets manipulated and yeah. edited and distorted. Which, like I said, we're there. Whatever spectrum you're on on the, on the political spectrum, wherever you're on the political spectrum, I can't talk. Yeah, that's good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know no, what I'm no, saying? Teach us. <laughs> yeah, I'll, let me drop some knowledge on you, son. Let's win this one for zero. That's, that was the guy who's got the jack jetpack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> jetpack. Same what job. is this, the 50s? I mean, really? Yeah. Dude. So, I mean, they're already, they know where they are. They're tracking them. Right? Well, yeah. They don't have to worry about the cameras, but, you know. <laughs> they're ready to punch her. I love the fact that she's still upset with him. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I don't think she ever apologizes. No. <laughs> Thank you for the old money. <laughs> oh, I gotta love that. Come on, let's go. Buzzsaw. I don't know. I mean, there's four of them. Should be pretty easy to take down one guy, even if he's on a motorcycle. Well, okay, maybe there's two of them. Now. Yeah, there's no two. Yeah. And one is inside of a tank. A mini tank, yeah. Yeah. This is. I love this. He hits him with a two by four against the bus saw, the chainsaw, and he's like, "Who?" Yeah. <laughs> he's confused that <laughs> wood is not stronger than a <laughs> chainsaw. <laughs> It's like, I don't understand, uh, but I hit him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, this is pretty sleazy. Th the bad guys have cars, weapons, everything, yeah. and the good guys have nothing. I they mean, their feet. you know, it's pretty easy. Yep. <laughs> give me your money, give me your money. Okay, okay. I do like this set here. Yeah. It, it's got a little bit of a Terminator from the future vibe. Yeah, I wonder where they shot this. Yeah. Well, I mean, I would assume uh, maybe it's the same location as the prison. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. it looks industrial. Yeah, yeah. You know? It's funny, like the egghead wears glasses because that's how you know he's an egghead. Yeah, obviously. You have to give him glasses. Yeah. Because no one without glasses is smart. No. It's a big playground too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and every area has a different uh, lighting, <laughs> color scheme. Well, I mean, they can manipulate that with the lights. Right? Yeah, it's just a different light bulb. Yeah, exactly. But I do, I do like the lighting. Yeah. You know, this, I mean, this right here, this has that blue Terminator uh you know oh, hue yeah blue hue oh oh man damn. Why, why not just duck i don't understand just duck he's not gonna hit you well he tried i think like what's up with the <laughs> face man this guy is just he's on road roid rage <laughs> this is like christian bale intense yeah. but all the time yeah don't get in front of his lights. <laughs> <laughs> so what is he throwing at him? Is it a net again? No, it, it's a... Uh, oh, it's just a step. Yeah, to, to drag him around. Okay, just saying. So Arnie's just wearing that one-piece... Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, and that, he's being dragged around that would be, at a yeah. pretty significant speed on uh, dirt on dirt. Yeah. That yeah would his balls would be gone by now. I'm just saying. Yeah. It's not like he's got padding or anything. Maybe they gave him a cup. 
Just to be nice. <laughs> yeah, sure, you sure. Know, yeah. <laughs> like, even, look at it. Did you see his head just going oh, up and down? A, <laughs> that was a great dummy. Yeah. So. Okay, this packaging is the, the, just the, the most, the cheapest packaging you can ever see. Yeah, yeah. For the board games? Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Oh, this is good. Boom. Bow. Bam. It's okay, man. It's okay. Don't worry. Just give me your money. <laughs> You'll make more money. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Is this when Dynamo shows up? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Because the egghead is going to get killed now. Yeah. You'd, th guess. you'd think you would hear him. You know, Dynamo. Get it? <laughs> now, if you look at the actual keys on the, the terminal there, they're not even... It's just random symbols. Yeah. Right? There's not even letters or anything. Oh, that's a nice shot. That's cool. Such a manly man. I know. His hair is all wacko and stuff. It's just all over the place. Yeah. Take the chainsaw. Oop. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. This guy doesn't say a word in the whole <laughs> <life>. <laughs> He's fucking intense. Yeah, I mean, this part... Again, the kills are pretty uh, gruesome and, uh, <laughs> I got to yeah. say, uh, inventive, you yeah. know? Dude, you're way too comfortable with that chainsaw. It's an extension of his body. Yeah. This guy is actually more intense than Bennett from Command. Yeah. Like, look Without at that. Without saying anything. Yeah. Oh, he does say something. Well, that's all he says. This, yeah, it's a part of me. Some sexual undertones <laughs> here. You know, I'm going to make this a part of you. And it's a part of me. That's, uh, okay. <laughs> somebody's trying to say something? Yeah. Is this the part I don't get. Isn't isn't he in control of the chainsaw? Like giving it power? So why why Ooh, not just let dude, it off? Dude. Oh boy. Oh Ooh. my god. <laughs> the blood and the high pitched scream. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> but he was wasn't he pulling the trigger? Like not not Arnie, but the other guy. So that's the part I don't get. Oh, you, you so mean when he was should have down, just, just, let, it, just yeah. let it go, right? Still hold it, but let it go. Well, I don't know. Maybe Arnie was was holding his hand so he couldn't let go. Because, you know, still, Arnie, the trigger is Arnie is based on the finger. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I mean, it's a great kill. I don't know, man. It's Father Christmas. Yeah, look at the keyboard, man. The, 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 the keys, right? The buttons. It's a hexagonal system, <laughs> yeah, which I've never heard of before. What operating system is this? It's a OS hexagon. <laughs> it's a new Linux distribution. Yeah. So the he killed him by zapping him. Yeah. And she just got knocked out a bit. Yeah. And she remembered all those numbers he told her. Yeah. I've seen this movie dozens of times. I can never remember the number. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Christmas tree. I know there's 17 was somewhere in there. Yeah. Like, look at his running. He's he's waltzing like a little schoolgirl. He, Arnie can't, like right now, look at it. Arnie can't run. Right ahead. He looks intimidating, yeah. but when he starts running, like he, he could use some of, some of uh, Tom Cruise's running. Yes. You know what I mean? Tom Cruise needs to give him lessons. Yeah. 
if you could combine Tom Cruise and, and Arnie, you would have the the perfect action hero. Yes. Yeah. Just yeah. saying. Yeah, that's true. What kind of car is this? I don't know. A little dune buggy. Dude, they got the Knight Rider thing going uh, on. Oh, come on. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. As if there wasn't enough lights on it. <laughs> <You know? laughs> That's the electrical bill for that. Adidas. But the funny thing is his head sticks out. Yeah, yeah. Right? So he's not even... Oh, but he could so tell that was not him. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty smart. Just walk up and he's going to be fucked. Yeah. Ugh. Ooh. I mean, considering his head was sticking out yeah. when he was rolling over, that actually would have probably killed him. Mm. <laughs> <The commercial. laughs> I do love that. Let's see that singing voice now. Now, this is the moment in the movie when Arnie becomes the hero, the hero, which again, I like that because it so speaks to our society where as long as you just become likable, mm -hmm. you can be, oh, I don't know, let's say a rapist and people will love you. But they still don't like him actually right now. They're actually angry at him for not killing him. Well, that's yeah. true. But but this is the moment when they're going to start liking yeah, him, yeah. right? Even though they still think, think, no, think about it this way. They still think, because they don't know the truth, that he committed mass, yeah. basically a mini genocide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. But none of that matters because he's now entertaining. That's what I love about this movie. And mm. it is so part of the human condition. And uh, let's analyze that a little deeper. Oh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Let me just uh, close my eyes for a minute. <laughs> then you go ahead and analyze that. <laughs> Because, you know, that's what they were thinking of when they made this movie. <laughs> well, I mean, I would assume some thought went into the script writing. Yeah, Ooh. Yeah. See, it's too dark. You can't even see what happened to him. I, I mean, no, I know he got cut, but... Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, I don't think it matters. You see the blood, you, you assume. Yeah. But actually, that is a good point. If it's dark on the DVD. Must have been really dark in the movie. Theater. Yeah, I mean, actually, this whole scene must have been really... Too dark. Too dark, yeah. Oh, no, man. We need to watch the 4K version of this movie. <laughs> I love that line. Uh <laughs> I guess this is the moment for him, the yeah. character, when he realizes, you know, when he stops being the guy who just wants to run away, doesn't care. This is when he starts to care, right? Yeah. yeah. So there's definitely a, a, an arc. Yeah, yeah. A journey, shall we say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. This is a, it's a great line coming up from Arnie. <laughs> hope you leave enough room in, I, I can't do it but we'll see I hope you leave enough room for my fist because I'm going to jam it jam it into your stomach yeah something like that yeah, it's something like that yeah it's, it's actually, actually pretty long for yeah. a one it's not really a one liner but yeah it's the longest one liner <laughs> it's a one paraphrase yeah bloody bastard <laughs> you believe enough room for my fist because I'm going to ram it into your stomach and break your goddamn spine <laughs> <laughs> I love his expression okay and then the phone's ringing right away <laughs> the president no it's the attorney general 
Well, yeah, because they have a, a contract with, with the, the government. government yeah. So yeah. they send them their criminals, but they can't get military criminals. Yeah. But, but hang on, how did they get him then? Well, it was a special thing, I guess. Yeah. They made a phone call. Fireball, fireball. Fireball. Yeah, he's coming up now, right? Right. Yeah. You know, it never seems safe to me to have a flamethrower on you. Never seemed like a good idea to me. Yep, I agree. Especially to do this in a closed studio. Yeah. Yeah, or uh, anywhere yeah. at all. Like, you know, it just seems unsafe. Well, I don't think they sell them at the local hardware store, so. You'd, you'd hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the geisha? I. Uh, Popping pills. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> Why is he looking at himself? Looking at himself? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just off. Oh, man. And I mean, even this, he, he takes off, right? Isn't he just using uh, fuel? <laughs> well, basically, yeah. But he's doing it right in front of everyone. First of all, this would burn his ass. I mean, I'm just saying, but... It's all Iron Man. Yeah. I do love her line when uh, she talks about who who she's rooting for. Yeah. Yeah. And Richards. <laughs> oh, my dear, you must be confused. <laughs> <laughs> she did a good job at this yeah <laughs> <laughs> so old lady swearing is always funny I know so basically the revolution was started by an old lady calling him a motherfucker yeah yeah <laughs> now since we know this is a society tightly controlled I'm pretty sure you couldn't say a motherfucker on TV yeah she <laughs> next thing you know that she'll be down in the games yeah. <laughs> I'll drop her ass off. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm rooting for the 80 year old grandma. I think she'll yeah. make it past she zone seemed, one. She seems like a runner. <laughs> She's done there with her stroller. Du, 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 du. <laughs> That's a nice shot of him coming down. <laughs> no, she did just say, "Me, my big mouth. I should have taken that trip to Hawaii." Then he said, I had, the, I had the perfect shirt for it. <laughs> but you fucked it up. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, so in a way, that that's kind of like her apology. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, but look at that. They're, they're not even running. <laughs> there's no way that they couldn't outrun him when he's wearing all that gear. Well, I know, yeah. Well, unless if he flies. Yeah. You know, but, but even takeoff and landing takes forever. <laughs> yeah, to, uh, use up all the fuel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's ridiculous. Yeah. laughs> what the hell? Why it's does just... he always have to drag her? Like, well, I mean, to to his defense, she did fuck up everything in the beginning, so he probably yeah. doesn't trust her. So, <laughs> the old guy's going burn. Burn, bitch. I do love the low angle shots. <laughs> He's just hopping. Yeah. <laughs> These guys are running. It all works out. Do, 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 do. It's funny, man. You could put Arnie in any kind of outfit. The guy just looks massive. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> just grab it. There's all these barrels flying around. I know convenient I think some of them are full of fuel probably oh, yeah, yeah oh yeah Bubba idiot <laughs> nobody's wearing uh, flame resistant clothing yeah 
Although not for his head, which is completely uncovered. <laughs> so I don't know how that works. Well, he's got the glasses, but still, he, yeah. his face is unprotected. Well, yeah. I guess he's he's wearing maybe he's wearing the um, like a gel. Yeah, that's what stunt people do yeah, uh, when they, put, they set themselves on fire. Yeah, they didn't put that on. <laughs> well, he maybe he did. We just it's clear, so you couldn't see it. Maybe. Look, I'm Maybe. I'm trying to bring some logic into this. Please, please do so. <laughs> yeah, I mean the set is pretty sweet, man. Very, very good. Do 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 do, do 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 do. Now we're going to find those three guys who supposedly survived the running yeah. man, but they're all dead. Which, I mean, really, is that a surprise? Nope. A show that kills people, that they killed the survivors? <laughs> I mean, just say, <laughs> you know. you think they would have taken their dog tags. You know, you think they would have burned the <laughs> bodies and everything. Yeah. I guess they blew all their budget on the Christmas lights yeah. for Dynamo. Yeah. Hey, Christmas tree. So I guess this is the last reveal, yeah. which is not really a reveal because you kind of assumed. I mean, last season's losers. I mean, I do like the scene because. It really shows you how ruthless they are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, he knows she's innocent. Yeah. And not only that, she, there's no way for her to defend herself. Yeah. Which, I mean, makes, because this is, this is, you know, this is the first kill that Arnie does that actually is not necessary, right? He doesn't have to do this to, to um, uh, protect himself, right? Like all the other ones, when he killed the other ones, he did it to, uh, you know, out of protection, right? I guess, yeah. Like, you but, know. If, but if he hadn't killed him, he, he still would have kept coming after him. Well, no, that's true. But in this case, like I said, they could have, they could have ran out. But because yeah. they showed the guy being so ruthless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. you know, it makes you go, yeah, fuck, kill him. Yeah, right? yeah. So uh, basically, we become the audience in the movie Ooh. that enjoys killing. Look at you. See, you see what I'm Look saying? I'm breaking the fourth wall. I'm bringing it down. I'm Break, analyzing it. I'm unpacking it. Dropping some knowledge. I'm dropping a, a load of knowledge right on you. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> no. It's just like a refrigerator. <laughs> uh, I mean... Out of all the stalkers, I respect him the most yeah. because because he doesn't go for all this shit. Yeah. <laughs> I love the hand. And you know what? With in his case, it's true. He did kill guys like that. Code of the Gladiators. What war was he in? He was a but Green war? Beret. I mean, the actual actor. Ah, uh, well, he was a Navy SEAL. Right, Navy SEAL, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. when. <laughs> I love the lines. I mean, you gotta love the stupidity and arrogance yeah. on him. It's like, you got these refrigerators. <laughs> it's <laughs> like, oh place. my God. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know if the guy is scared or turned on or both. <laughs> But yeah, I gotta love Killian's arrogance, man. You got yeah. these refrigerator guys. You know, I'd be a little friendlier. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So now it's gonna cut into the fake, uh, fake scene. Yeah. I think. Yeah, that's right. Now, okay. So. This is when. I guess anything after this, it's all a simulation, right? Yeah. yeah. So they're not even filming the Arnie anymore right no so now the rebels arrive but how do the rebels know where they are like that part doesn't make really? and how come they don't know that the rebels are there you know what i mean 
I don't know. <laughs> talk, man. You're asking a lot of questions about a movie that never bothered to ask them. <laughs> let's just, I don't know. Let's just see. Let's just see where it goes. Maybe they'll explain everything. Man, I wish I could do this in, in After Effects. I mean, this is... Oh, fuck. You never need real actors anymore. Yeah. Well, no, oh, they no, still... So, so this is the Rebels. Oh, so they did that. Yeah. Okay. So the Rebels are in this game zone. Yeah. People's Network. Okay. Oh, good God. I have a problem every time someone calls anything People's. Because it's oh, <laughs> We couldn't. We'd have seen the government would have found this place. Oh. Okay, that, that makes sense. So they waited until they were out of sight. Yeah. Yeah. What's the code? One, two, two <laughs> three, three, four, five. Oh, huh, weird. I got the same number on my luggage. Yeah. <laughs> to the game zone. So, I mean, so those were real people. Yeah. That's the, and they just put their faces on it. Yeah, right? yeah. So they just killed two innocent people yeah. for nothing. Kind of, kind of fucked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now I, I do wonder though, did they know going in this is a suicide mission? Yeah, or? Just, probably not. Maybe there were other criminals that they uh, that they used. Yeah. Need help, I don't know. And is that the real Captain Freedom? Because he said he, he's not going along for the theatrics, right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's a weird. But so this guy that he's killing, they're gonna at the end they're gonna remove Arnie's face and show the real guy. Yeah. And that's Arnie's stunt double. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whew. That's <laughs> some great A acting. That wrestling uh really paid off. <laughs> Jesse the body Ventura. I ain't got no time to bleed, son. Yeah, that's that was the greatest line. <laughs> yeah. Ain't got no time to bleed. Oh boy. Oh, oh damn. Ugh. So one went right through his head. Well, I don't think it did though. Well, it didn't show it. Well, they didn't show it, but I mean, the way they're placed, one yeah, would he, be right behind, you yeah. know, behind his head. Yeah, damn. I think so. Damn that Killian. The <laughs> they got the police. <laughs> police officer. Now look, this is you'll see. That's and, the real guy. Yeah, I mean yeah, after this. Yeah, we'll, we'll show him now. Who actually looks a lot like him. Yeah. Huh. That's cool. It. He was in stunt double in a lot of movies. Yeah. I love this. You don't need guns. Yeah, you do need guns. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to ask nicely? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't want to disappoint him. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the season. So they're basically jamming the upland code so that they can't broadcast anymore, right? And this is great. This is the raw footage that she stole from the from the yeah. studio. It's like, well, where did you put it? <laughs> like, where did you keep it the whole time? 
So basically, she's implying that she was hiding it in her coochie. It's some sort of body area. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not her nose. We know that. Yeah. Now, how on earth do you hide that? Here's my thing. If she's able to, you know, hide it in there. Yeah. Damn. I would, yeah. I would get that checked out. Yeah, if there's that yeah. much room in there. Uh, <laughs> I pity the guy who t touched it. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? <laughs> but I love Arnie's, Arnie's face. He's, he's like impressed by that. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'd be concerned for her health. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So there are now, see, the geography doesn't make any sense here. So we don't know how far they are from the building, yeah. but it makes it seem like they're basically next door because yeah. they didn't drive. They just walked. Yeah. I love the Mr. Spock reference. Yeah. I guess in the 80s, they didn't realize how huge Star Trek would be. Yeah. And, and also how huge retro culture would be, yeah. you know. Like this channel. Hi. Again, it's not retro. <laughs> you're, making it, <laughs> you're making it right now. Well, okay. 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 It's retro for us. I understand that. Yeah. I, I get it. I get it. Wait, what are you saying? So what did they call the 80s in the 80s? <laughs> <laughs> they call them now. Right now. Again, no security. Nothing. Yeah. There's, there's not even cameras. There's a bunch of guys with weapons. Yeah. In a society where I would assume no one is allowed to have weapons yeah. since it's all fascist. I mean... Yeah. Oh, now they're going to broadcast the, the unedited feed. They're tax deductible. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so they're now. Sh I, I do love this in movies. Yeah. Um, where, you know, when they show a dystopian society and all you have to do is just show one video of what actually happened and that would change everything. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, Not really like that. You know, in the real world, that doesn't happen because you would have about 50% of the population believe this never happened. Yeah, it's the big. others would go crazy over it. Yeah. You know, and then, well, not 50-50, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. It, it's never... It's never that quick. Never, yeah. And also, here's my question. So, clearly this helps to bring down this network but yeah. they still didn't change the society yeah, well, you know, there's still the fascist government it's it's, uh, it's the first battle in the war yeah so you know what mm -hmm. you could do a sequel to this movie yeah that takes place 30 years later yeah where they're still fighting the government they're still fighting the government and they're trying to bring back the Running Man games. To, well, you know, doesn't even have to be thirty years later because it takes place in twenty nineteen. So you just go five years later, you know. Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Make it twenty twenty four. Yeah, actually, just that's update true. Techno the technology. Well, I'm just saying because if you make it at least at least ten years later, you could justify why the technology is updated. Yeah. Up, yeah. You know, change so much. It's showtime. I mean, hey, it's not impossible. I mean, yeah. they just made Blade Runner. Yeah. Which I still haven't seen. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah it fell down the <laughs> it's like yeah. Mario. <laughs> Goes down the chute. Well, he's now, he's now down, downstairs in the game. Yeah, right? yeah. Now, I love this when she shoots him. I mean, oh my God, man. She just obliterate, obliterate, ob obliterates. obliterates the guy. Yeah. Yeah. Again, okay. Oh my God. I, first of all, I can't take this guy serious. Yeah, why is he walking around with the Christmas card? <laughs> I know, I know. It's like... And then he, he tries to rape her, and he actually takes down his pants. Yeah, yeah. And he's wearing a diaper. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know what to call it. It looks, look, looks like a diaper. Yeah. It's funny how, how often... Arnie references politics in his movies, like, oh, I don't like politics, I'm not uh, a politician. I know. And then he did run for one. Like, right here. Like yeah. It, well, I guess it's not diapers, but no, it's, it's just... No, it's tidy whities 
he just looks ridiculous. Dude, they look like diapers. It looks like it's stuffed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, basically, again, considering the the this is a fascist society, they would have, you know, the army, the police, and everything surrounding yeah. the building. They wouldn't even make it out alive. No. Get down. So much collateral damage. Yeah. I love how calm people are. Yeah. <laughs> it's like <laughs> nobody cuts the cameras. Yeah. Well, I guess the rebels took control over the the broadcast station. Yeah, the control room. <laughs> I just, I just love the, the people's expression. Mm. Hey, cutie pie. <laughs> Here comes Sven. Sven? I think he really is Swedish, that guy. Hey, well, he sounds like he's got an accent. With that one line he says. The only guy taller than Arnie in this movie. Yeah. And more jacked. Gus to score me some steroids. Ah, uh, is he? Uh, they're about the same. Yeah. Eye level, almost. I think so. <laughs> I love that. Have <laughs> <laughs> uh, <hey>, fun. <laughs> You got every right to be. Again, the sleaziness. Even now, he's he's trying to make a deal, yeah. right? I mean, he he is the perfect guy for this role. I'll bring down the chair. Yeah. And again, this is the part. This is basically the social satire, the the criticism, right? So apparently there was a scene here where Jesse Ventura's character comes flying down because some some bad some of those bad guys come to shoot him and the girl at the end. But Jesse comes down and shoots those bad guys and he's like on his side. Hmm. But that was cut from the movie. But huh. That they did shoot that. But why? I don't know. I mean that would have been a great closure for his character. Yeah, yeah. Cause obviously he wasn't along for all this bullshit mm. and yeah that's too bad mm. is it a deleted scene or they just never shot it i don't know that that i'm not sure yeah well, it's not on this dvd no. i don't think i heard jesse talk about that oh cool yeah okay. <laughs> look, look at his face man he looks yeah. like the joker i love it yeah well he cranked it up all the way when he shot him down. Oh he did? Oh yeah, okay. yeah. that's why he flies further than the rest of the guys. And explodes. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's like cardboard. Th th there is nothing explosive on this thing and yet look at this. Boy. He's gonna he's gonna go through the wall and Boom. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Well oh. you know, back then they used C four and, <laughs> and, and concrete. Yeah. yeah. Asbestos and C4. Yeah. <laughs> That's what yeah, buildings well, were made out of. <laughs> this way you can demolish them much easier. Yeah. Uh, I love it. All, all the people outside is, are celebrating. Yeah. Oh, shit. Hang on. Mm -hmm. We're out of a job. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I love this song. Yeah, this I, is I this, song. this a, song is the best. It's on Spotify, FYI. Is it okay? Yep, love it. And obviously, this is the the typical '80s schlock, but it works. It's funny. So I don't think they ever kiss in the movie, though. Well, they do now at the end. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, well, yeah. It's this awkward 
kiss that Arnie does, which he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't uh, usually have love interest in the movies, though. No, because right? he's just awkward. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. In most of his movies, like right now, look at this. <laughs> he's even gonna grab her. <laughs> <laughs> Like look uh, at him. He's he's literally eating her lips. I mean, <laughs> he's trying to go for a second one. <laughs> he puts his hand around her neck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, that was fun. Yeah. Well, that's it, folks. Awesome. So stand by for more. Uh, what's what's the next one? What should we do? I don't know. Okay. Well. Well, at some point, we'll, we'll revisit American Ninja 2. Mm. And uh, I don't know. We've got to think. Because the movies we want to do are the, the schlock, awesome action schlock flicks. Yeah, we'll f- you think know? of something. So we'll think of some. All right, guys. Boyan Dulovic signing out here. See ya. And remember, subscribe, like this video, and have a good time. Bye-bye.